think your team is now or compared to where you want it to be? Um, well, I, I think we're in a good place. You know, we're two games into it, and there's a lot of season left. And uh, I think what's really promising about our team is, you know, we were really challenged on our first road game with the adversity uh, with the foul line to give ourselves an opportunity to still be in it, um, despite not shooting the ball well and and uh, having a hard time in foul trouble. So um, I, I think there's just going to be a lot of growing pains probably in this next month as far as adjusting to the change and how we adapt um, if it's a little bit tighter in certain games versus others. But uh, this, this group's a bunch of fighters, and that part's really exciting. 34 points in the paint. Um, I'm sure you know, with the shooting struggles, you have to be pleased to see that, especially with the young, kind of the young front line. Well, I mean, we had that many points in the paint. We probably missed over 10 layups. So, you know, you, you think about uh, the shots that we did get that are going to typically drop for us on a given night. You know, we were just really cold, and uh, we, st we still kept battling. There's going to be those games that you're going to have to prove yourself when your offense is off um, and uh, be able to grit those out. And uh, I really believed our team was capable of doing that on Friday. Uh, it's the best, I, I, th I think, in my eight years here going into my ninth season. It's one of the loudest benches I've ever had um, in that second half. And uh, that's the one reason, the main reason, that we stayed in it and uh, made the comeback we did. We just fell a little bit short with some things that we need to clean up from the detail standpoint. Well, uh, the 1 of 16 from Beyond the Arc, was that um, shot selection? Was that just shots not going in? And does that give you any concern because that happened? Yeah, uh, I think, year? you know, when you look at your three-point percentage, when you're playing well as a team and you're playing a little bit looser, you get a little bit of, more of a lead. Those shots are dropping a lot easier than when uh, your offense is struggling a little bit more. So if, uh, get a little bit tighter. I wouldn't say those were poor shot selection. I, you know, we were up and down in that game. We've kind of gone up and down throughout the first four contests, um, but it's been complete games of either good or bad. And, and I felt this game we had some really good shot selection and then we have had a little bit... Uh, um, not insecurity, but just uh, uh, not a lot of patience in some situations. But, uh, <clears throat> you know, I thought we took some steps backwards in our transition defense, so uh, we, we need to make steps in that area, and we don't want to take steps backwards <coughs> in some of the things that are in our control, so to speak. We want to make teams earn a lot more than what we're seeing on the court right now. Um, the Duke fouls, uh, your defensive leader is a pretty tenacious perimeter defender. How is she adjusting to it? How is the rest of the team adjusting to it? And uh, how do you think that affects the game? Well, it was definitely a challenge for us on Friday because Asha f found herself in foul trouble early on. And, uh, and so did Ashley. And one of our objectives is to have at least one of them on the court at all times. <laughs> we weren't able to do that with foul trouble. Uh, we did put them both back in with two fouls, and they were able to play and not get that third foul. But what's happening right now is we're trying to grow in the area of how do I play when I am in foul trouble? Um, but not play soft and still be aggressive. And uh, what happened as a result is we just, we, we really struggled to play defense. So we're right now focusing on just our position, staying still, uh, still being in stances, just not taking chances um, in, in that regard. And that's part of the process. But uh, I think it's going to play to our favor later on because you have somebody with her ability that can move laterally, that's explosive, um, and can be real in great position. I think she's going to be great in that area. The one kid I will address that I think has made leaps and bounds, has got this down very well, is Emily Allen. She had uh, played a really great defensive game for us, keeping her hands out, and you know she's doing all the footwork. We're talking a lot right now about moving your feet. You know, Don't focus on your upper body, move your feet, um, position defense, and uh, I think our kids can learn a lot um, by watching Emily out, out there. Okay.